everyone welcome back to my channel it's a horse thing or welcome to my channel today i am going to be going over all of the important details in the new unicorn academy update on wild horse islands this update was officially released on september 6 2023 and will last a duration of three months therefore it will end on january 6 of 2024 when you first join the game, you will receive a message saying you have been invited to attend the Unicorn Academy, accept the magical invitation and head over to the Unicorn Island. This will also list a few extra details that I will go over later in the video. Then clicking the you are invited mail button right below your tokens, you will receive another message of an invite saying your name, we are pleased to invite you to attend Unicorn Academy, the world's leading school for promising equestrian riders. If you head over to the boat and click go to Unicorn Island, it will then prompt you to go to the Unicorn Island and see the Unicorn Academy. Once you get there, it will say welcome to Unicorn Island and it will give you a quick display of the whole island and you will see Miss Primrose which you want to head over to take your personality quiz. Then you are going to want to use your harvester and locate the magical crystals all over the island which will then be used to get unicorns from specific people around the island. After that short cutscene, you will proceed to go talk to Miss Primrose, which you will then take your personality quiz. The personality quiz will consist of two questions, basically asking you how you see yourself, and there are six different unicorns that you can get depending on your answers. After answering those two questions, the Fate Fairy will come pay you a visit and will therefore determine what unicorn you will get. I personally got the unicorn Glacier. Then if you ask Ms. Primrose where you can find the other student, she will tell you exactly where all the people are at. You can find Sophia over at the stables with Wildstar, you can find Ava at Periwinkle Fields, you can find Layla at the Sparkle Book at the Academy, Isabella at the Training Grounds, Valentina at the Training Grounds as well, and Rory in the Garden. Then as you explore the island, you'll find crystals along the way that you can use to get the horses. There are six main crystals, including the fire crystal to get cinder, the light crystal to get wild star, the plant crystal to get leaf, the water crystal to get river, the ice crystal to get glacier, and the weather crystal for storm. So you need 50 crystals to get the limited plushie, which there's only 100,000 of each, so once they are gone, they are officially gone and you cannot get them anymore. You need 100 crystals each to get the unicorn, you need 175 to get that specific unicorn's bridle, and 200 to get their saddle. Also six different people who will have different unicorns. Sophia will have Wildstar, Ava will have Leaf, Layla with Glacier, Isabella with River, Valentina with Cinder, Rory with Storm. You can bring them each 10 crystals at a time of that specific crystal that they are asking for, and in return they will give you an accessory or tack item such as saddles or bridles. Each student has different types of accessories that you can get. So for instance, for Sophia, who has Wildstar and all the light crystals, you can get Sophia's face crystal or Sophia's tail crystal, Sophia's yellow hoof trails, Sophia's aura, the floating star crystal aura, which has different colors, wild star fade hair dye, which matches the unicorn's mane or tail, Sophia's yellow bridle and saddles, which can, can range tier wise from wooden to ruby, wild star stripe accessories, and various other accessories in the color Sophia's yellow. Then for Ava, who takes plant gems for the unicorn leaf, you can receive leaf fade hair dye, the floating flower aura in various different colors, Ava's aura, Ava's green hoof trails, face periwinkle or tail periwinkle, various different tag items in the color Ava's green, varying tier wise from wooden to ruby, Leaf's butterfly accessories, and Ava's green accessories. For Layla, who will take ice crystals and will give you the uniform glacier, you can receive Glacier's fade hair dye, floating snowflake aura in various different colors, Layla's aura, Layla's Blue Hoof Trails, Layla's Sparkle Book, Layla's Blue Bridle and Saddles, varying tier-wise from wooden to ruby, Glacier Snowflake Accessories, and Layla's Blue Accessories. Next is Isabella, which takes water crystals for the Unicorn River. You can receive River's Fade Hair Dye, Isabella's Anchor, Isabella's Aura, Isabella's Blue Hoof Trails, Isabella's Trophy in various different colors, Isabella's blue bridle or saddles varying tier wise between wooden and ruby, River's anchor accessories, and Isabella's blue accessories. Next we have Valentina, which takes fire gems for the unicorn Cinder. You can receive Cinder's fade hair dye, cat eye sunglasses, Valentina's aura, Valentina's orange hoof trails, flame pin for the tail or face, 
Valentina's orange bridles or saddles varying tier wise from wooden to ruby. Cinder's flame accessories and Valentina's orange accessories. Lastly, we have Rory who will take weather crystals for the unicorn storm. You can receive Storm's Fade Hair Dye, Rory's Headphones, Rory's Aura, Rory's Purple Hoof Trails, Lightning Bolt for the Tail or Face, Rory's Purple Saddle or Bridles varying tierwise from Wooden to Ruby, Storm's Lightning Accessories, and Rory's Purple Accessories. Quick bit of useful information, everything accessory-wise is tradable except for the unicorns, the unicorns tack, and the gems. Those cannot be traded and cannot be sold to any player. Unicorns also cannot be sold, bred, traded, personality swapped, height changed, gender swapped, styled, or renamed. As well as when you first enter the game and talk to Ms. Primrose and take the personality quiz and get your first free unicorn, you cannot obtain that unicorn again or its tack. That stuff comes free one time only. You can still go to the person that sells that horse or you can obtain that horse from. However, you will not be able to get it again, but you can get the other accessories, just not the tack. Around the island, you will also find bushes that contain sky berries. These are the only berries that you can feed to the unicorn and their bond will increase. If you give unicorns any other food, their bond will not increase. Only the sky berries can do that. Once you reach 500 bond with your unicorn, you will then unlock their magical ability. Every unicorn has their own magical ability. Wild Start's power is light the way. This unicorn can shine a bright light from its horn for 60 seconds. Least powers plant summon and will therefore summon a variety of plants at your feet. Storm's ability is thunderclap. This results in a roaring thunder and a flash of lightning on demand. Cinder's ability is fireball and can shoot a fireball out of their horn. Glacier's ability is snowstorm and on demand you can have a snowstorm happen right above your head. And River's ability is tidal wave and you can have waves that surge forward. To use these abilities, just click your unicorn's icon in the top right corner, and then click abilities, and then the power. There are also three limited time races that you can complete, including the Around the Academy race, Path to Starglow Lake race, and Wonderwood Forest Loop. All of these races can be found on the designated areas on your map, shown in the right hand corner. You can also go to the training grounds to train your unicorn just like you would at the training academy with a normal horse. When you arrive, you will see the obstacle like you would at the racetrack on the training island, and you can change it to exactly what you would like to do. However, these were all the details about the Unicorn Academy update. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure to click the like button and subscribe button if you want to see more Wild Horse Islands content. I go live every Friday and also post a video every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments section what horse you got for your personality quiz, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.